100 years left on Earth. Quite possibly one of the most thought-provoking arguments made by Dr. Stephen Hawking was his claims made about the probability of events that could spell disaster for the whole of humanity. By his calculations regarding the overall statistical probability of the Earth facing a cataclysmic event at a large enough scale to cause human extinction, Dr. Stephen Hawking stated that it would only take as little as 100 years before humans would be unable to inhabit our planet Earth any further. The cause for such calculations he regarded were due to several factors that most people never even took into consideration. Not only is climate change and global warming an important issue that should be addressed, but by his calculations, there is no possible way to overcome the issue regardless of any form of technological advancement. What many people do not realise about the issues of climate change is that reducing carbon emissions does nothing to stop or prevent climate change overall. It merely slows it down. Dr. Stephen Hawking compares the problem to that of a car speeding towards a cliff. Slowing down the car does not prevent it from falling into the ravine. It merely prolongs the inevitable. Considering the fact that as temperatures have risen, this has caused water vapours from the oceans to form, which in turn create additional greenhouse effects. It is impossible to stop the effects of climate change regardless of how many emissions are cut unless every single emission is reduced by 100% and a technology capable of causing an artificial cooling is created. Two events with a higher statistical improbability than the extinction event itself. Given these factors alone, one would not be surprised in the slightest by Dr. Stephen Hawking's predictions, but his doomsday fortune does not stop there. Not only does he cite global warming as an issue of a cataclysmic scale, but he also believed and argued that we have reason to fear other advancements as well. From artificial intelligence uprising to alien invasions, Dr. Stephen Hawking claims that the only way humanity will persist past his line of extinction is to make attempts at preserving our genetic lineage by looking to the stars and accepting the fate of our planet as a whole. The Earth only has 100 years left, and we are currently in a countdown race against an extinction-level event itself. Planetary Colonization As dark and disturbing as Dr. Stephen Hawking's predictions of doom and extinction may be, the late research scientist also seemed to have had a tremendous amount of optimism relative to the coming ages of technological advancement and exploration. Dr. Stephen Hawking argued that if such an extinction-level event can be overcome, not only will humanity become far more united in its overall pursuits and political motivations, but we will be a space-faring species with an aptitude for self-reliance, renewable resources and technological innovations that will have dwarfed all past human creation. Dr. Stephen Hawking most notably refers to us as planetary colonizers and makes the overall suggestion that not only will Earth be our home, but many of the other celestial bodies in the solar system may find themselves colonized equally as well. This appears not just to be an accurate prediction, however, as the advancements made by private research corporation SpaceX has more than propelled a modern space race in the pursuits of planetary colonization. In fact, many estimates for project deadlines put the first colonies on Mars to occur in 2030, which is merely within the next 15 years. Not only this, but NASA has begun the process and paperwork as well as research necessary for long-term inhabitation of space-faring ships, with efforts being made to replicate the famous Von Braun research station along with the robotics and agricultural developments necessary to create fully sustainable life supports. On top of these developments that have already seen space testing and other viable research options including partnerships at the Biosphere 2 research laboratories, but NASA has already begun the processes and received funding for the development of asteroid mining relative to the formation and creation of spacefaring ships made from asteroids floating in the asteroid belt. This means that NASA will begin launching rockets to land on asteroids that contain precious metals and use those metals as a means to develop a large ship made from the asteroid, allowing for the formation of advanced research stations as well as pit stops for spacefaring teams. Many are skeptical about NASA's claims, however, 
but that should not be too much of a worry. Given the massive amount of success via SpaceX that Elon Musk has seen, Boeing has decided to throw their hat in the race to colonize the red Martian surface and has already begun the development processes to creating their own rockets, sustainable habitats and further developments for long-term colonization. It could very well be that humanity, within the next 100 years, will come to call Mars our second home. Artificial Intelligence Before billionaire tech giants Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg started their vicious debates relative to the benefits or dangers of research and advancements of artificial intelligence, Dr. Stephen Hawking had already been working to give the grave prediction of the dangers of artificial intelligence. Many others who report the dangers of AI often will report nonsensical information with no real basis other than the fact that they had seen iconic doomsday movies such as The Terminator or other popular mainstream media depicting artificial intelligence in a negative world-ending light. But Dr. Stephen Hawking went the theoretical step further to explain in detail the inevitability and dangers of artificial intelligence overall. Stephen Hawking argues that AI will always be developed and is necessary in the developments of future technologies and advancements. Given Moore's law and the need to develop computational machines to allow us to expand into new areas in science and technology previously unimagined, Dr. Hawking believes that the development of AI is unavoidable and so must have strict regulations and precautions. He also makes the argument that even if AI granted the ability to create world peace, to solve all the problems of the modern era and to allow humans to live free without ever needing to work, this would, in essence, destroy the very nature of humanity. There would be no continued purpose for humanity, and so the only people that will be pleasantly preoccupied with mind-numbing gadgetry would be those completely comfortable with proving no overall contribution to society as a whole. The great inventors, doers and thinkers of the past would become an ancient relic, and humanity as a whole will devolve into oblivion. Given the fact that corporations, Research organizations and technological developers all seem to be in the race to create new artificial intelligence. It appears that even this potential great gift to humanity could be its very downfall, even if it never commits an uprising against the human race. Pandemic mutations from space not many people are aware of the dangers of disease and the horrifying mutations that appear annually that can have dramatic effects on a disease impact against a larger population. Take for example influenza, also known as the common flu. Influenza mutates and changes once a year, causing a new vaccine to be created annually just to keep up with its rate of mutation. Despite these constant efforts made, 700,000 people are sent to the hospital every year in critical condition and an average of 49,000 deaths are reported annually from just the flu alone. These numbers are only expected to get worse as the rate of mutation of a disease continues to grow rapidly as new drugs are introduced and the immunities of our species are weakened every year. In fact, the top epidemiologists around the world were reported in a study that claimed that 90% of these experts expected a pandemic to occur within the next 100 years that will infect more than 1 billion people, cause more than 165 million deaths, and destroy the global economy, causing the worst recession ever recorded. These figures are only made worse when taking transportation into account. Rising rates of population, growing cities and confined spaces and budget cuts made to organisations such as the World Health Organisation and the Centre for Disease Control. New research, however, admits that these factors are merely the tip of the iceberg. When NASA conducted research regarding bacterial growth of salmonella in space, they found that for some strange reason, bacteria became far more dangerous after a spaceflight. Growing unrestricted in anti-gravity allowed the bacteria to become far more potent in nearly all regard even when compared to lower doses to the same bacteria on Earth. Normally, this would not be an issue to the general population, as astronauts are prepared and diagnosed before entering space to ensure that they are not carrying any types of bacteria or diseases with them. Unfortunately, 
due to Elon Musk's efforts to create a commercial type of spaceflight available to all consumers without many of the regulations required to prevent such a bacteria from entering space. This could mean that as our species develops the ability to travel between planets in the commercial world, the chances of a deadly mutation occurring grows dramatically. It could very well be within our lifetime that a terrible mutation occurs and more than half of the population of our planet becomes infected, which will only drive chaos, destabilization and the eventuality of the end of our world. Global warming it is no surprise that issues surrounding climate change have been so prevalent in the mainstream media given the potential for catastrophe it can cause for the entirety of the planet. The problem with the media coverage of global warming, however, is the focus on the political aspect of the issues and the politicising of science and industry to make changes regarding CO2 emissions and fossil fuels. This is, unfortunately, a hopeless endeavour. It is overwhelmingly known that CO2 emission, though originally a major factor in the issue of climate change, is not alone as an acting greenhouse gas. In fact, natural water vapours and methane is a far more pressing issue regarding climate change than CO2 emissions alone. This is due to the fact that as temperatures have increased on the planet, this has caused more water vapours from the ocean to form, which in turn create more heat and more vapours causing a snowball effect of greenhouse gases. Additionally, the agriculture industry is responsible for the majority of methane produced via the large population of cows on the planet to be consumed. There are over a billion cows constantly digesting and releasing methane into the air that is responsible for more trapped heat compared to CO2 emissions by an additional 18%. Now, many people just assume that by just reducing these emissions, we can stop the global warming issue altogether, but this is far from the truth. Many climate change experts compare the analogy to that of a car speeding towards a canyon. Reducing the speed will help to buy more time for a more permanent solution, but until the speed is at zero, we were still racing towards the end. Even if the emissions are dropped by 99%, given the fact that water vapours in the atmosphere are continuing to grow each and every year, the situation of our planet will continue to decline as well. Considering a 100% reduction of fossil fuels including methane caused by cows and CO2 caused by industry seems to be an absolute impossibility. Efforts to prevent global warming seem fruitless. Within the next 100 years, the damage could be so bad that many species of plants used in agriculture will become completely extinct. Asteroid Strike 2135. Known as asteroid Bennu, this large celestial body is on a direct collision course with Earth, of which we should expect to arrive exactly on September the 21st, 2135. Though this arrival might be a long way away, the effect of its destruction makes the asteroid a serious issue that requires technology to be worked on immediately to prevent this issue from wiping out all life on our planet. In fact, NASA is currently designing plans and preparing for this event with a serious tone and a budget to match. Current designs on the plan, including building craft with the advanced ability to perform deep space drilling that can drill into the core of the asteroid and deploy large amounts of nuclear warheads to break off the large piece of space debris into much smaller and more manageable pieces that will burn up in the atmosphere. Given its speed and its trajectory, it looks, however, that even with a large arsenal, budget and development in specialised spacecraft, the human race will only have one shot to make sure the mission is a success. Otherwise, it could mean the end for life on our planet as we know it. But what do you all think of these end of the world predictions and what are your theories as to how we might face catastrophe? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.